Welcome to Nicholas 11x12. Today I'm comparing the popular 1080p screen resolution with the 1440p one. I've been asked several times to do this quick comparison and now that I have the possibility to do one, why not? I'd do one with 4K too, but I don't own such a monitor yet, but I'm sure the time will come. So, first off, what is 1080p and what is 1440p? Well, 1080p is the shortened form for a screen resolution of 1920 by 1080 at an aspect ratio of 16 by 9. 1440p stands for a resolution of 2560 by 1440 pixels, also at a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. 1080p is also known as Full HD, whereas 1440p is considered to be QHD or more accurately WQHD. But what do these numbers actually stand for when we're talking of screen resolution? It's the pixel count. By multiplying 1920 by 1080, that tells us we're looking at a pixel count of roughly 2.1 million, about 3.7 million pixels when multiplying 2560 by 1440. So to keep it simple, the more pixels or dots a monitor has, the clearer and sharper the image. But are there just benefits to monitors with higher screen resolutions or are there any disadvantages as well? Let's find out. For this experiment I have two Acer monitors here. The one representing the 1440p resolution, the Acer EV2750 27 inch and for 1080p the Acer EV2455 24.1 inch. Although I should let you know the EV2455 isn't actually a real 1080p screen as instead of 1920 by 1080 it comes with a resolution of 1920 by 1200. But it's actually the same resolution as 1080p, just at an aspect ratio of 16 by 10 instead of 16 by 9. Which makes up for the extra pixels we're getting on the height. If you want to know more about these monitors, I've tested both of them so you can check out my reviews on these if you want to. High quality monitors I can tell you. So the very first difference between 1080p and 1440p is the workspace. Clearly at 1440p you can fit a lot more in the Windows taskbar as well as on a desktop in terms of icons but also Windows in general. A great demo is this open window here. On the 1080p screen it's hard fitting two or more windows without resizing some whereas on the 1440p screen you can easily fit four of these same ones without any resizing at all. In OpenOffice for instance you can fit a whole A4 document on the screen at default settings whereas you easily can do so on the 1440p screen. Same goes for websites when surfing the web. Thanks to the larger workspace with 1440p websites are displaying more information without the need to scroll as much as with 1080p. The benefit of increased workspace pretty much applies to lots of situations. Indeed very beneficial for image and video editing works. But there's also dark side to 1440p or higher resolutions in general and that is readability. More and more pixels are crammed into a certain screen size these days which means while the workspace increases to actually get that extra workspace everything needs to shrink that is if the screen size remains the same. So if let's say we have two 27 inch screens one with the 1440p resolution the other one with 1080p the text and windows will appear to be much much smaller at 1440p than at 1080p. So I guess you get my point what I'm trying to make here. Certain users might have a hard time reading text on high resolution screens. To compensate the actual text and window size you'd have to increase your actual screen size as well which for many of us is not an option. Of course there are ways to increase the text and window size but often these don't work as well as we'd like them to do. As I've said before already a huge benefit at 1440p is the improved sharpness and image clarity overall. It's hard demonstrating that without actually sitting in front of the monitor in person. Everything just just looks much sharper that's what I can tell you. But what about gaming? Are there benefits to that as well or any disadvantages maybe? Well 1440p will make games look a tad sharper with smoother edges and curves. However both 1080p and 1440p aren't high enough resolutions to fully allow us to keep anti-aliasing in games disabled for a super smooth looking gameplay depending on the screen size of course, pixel density. But to many with 1440p that's an option already, not so much with 1080p though. But please note due to a higher pixel count at 1440p compared to 1080p the GPU your graphics card will be working with more pixels and performance will take a hit accordingly thus leaving you with a lower frame rate as with 1080p for instance. Although with modern graphics cards these days the FPS count doesn't drop too dramatically. And yeah there's not much else left to be said here for a quick comparison video. I hope this gives you a better idea on the benefits and disadvantages of these screen resolutions and hopefully I haven't confused you too much in some aspects of this video. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit my website to sometimes see videos there earlier.